finally, Battlefield 2042 is almost here. I uh, pre-ordered the game earlier, so managed to get access to the beta, or beta, however you want to say it. Um, and I just thought I'd share my thoughts on it. Uh, I've done something a little bit different today. I've just kind of extended gameplay and with a few highlights in there. Um, I just want to kind of show you what the map looks like and um, kind of give you a bit of a feel uh, to what it would be like to play it. So I'll get into how it runs first before I get into the uh, kind of nitty gritty of uh, what it actually feels like to play. Um, I mean, I'm I'm running almost the minimum specs on my computer. Like it's not the most powerful. I've got a 2060 and a Ryzen 5 3600 XT, which I think the recommended is 3600. Uh, I'm I'm averaging probably about 70 frames. I think the lowest is around 60, um, with the highest being around 90. Um, hopefully, this is probably one of the most stressful maps. Uh, I'd be interested to see what it's like on a kind of close quarters, like Karkan map or something like that. Um, yeah, I'll see how it performs. But I have heard that even most powerful like rigs are kind of struggling to perform under it. I know they've said this is kind of an early base version of the game that the the, uh, the beta is about. Um, so hopefully the finished game should run a lot smoother and even like the older rigs like mine should perform relatively okay on it but yeah, just have to see with uh, with that one. So, in terms of gameplay, it took me a while to get used to it. It's been a while since I played a Battlefield game. Like, I played a bit of Battlefield 5 on the, the PC, but the majority of it's been on console uh, of the past few years. Uh, apart from the early ones, Battlefield 2 I've played a lot of on the PC. But, yeah, it feels okay. It's slightly like Battlefield 4. Um, I was hoping it'd feel a lot like Battlefield like 5 or 1. Um, with that kind of movement, but it's uh, yeah, it's it's slightly um, faster paced, I'd say. It's not as slow as something like Battlefield like three. If you, if you play Battlefield three compared to this now, it feels like you're running backwards. Like it feels so slow. Uh, whereas this is a bit more sped up, um, and the t the time to kill uh, is extremely long. Even by a Battlefield game, I feel like it's a lot more bullets. Like, it's almost a full clip to kill someone if you're aiming at the chest. Like, if you don't get the headshots, maybe the different guns later in the game when the full game's released might increase that. Because um, there's only the, a few to use in the um, in the beta. So, you know, maybe that gets increased a bit uh, and that TTK comes down. But, yeah, it's hard to judge at the minute, but it feels pretty bad. Um, like pretty long, which I know a lot of people are looking for, but I, I feel like Battlefield should have like a, a decent time to kill, like it shouldn't take a full clip to gun someone down, even when you are aiming at the chest. Uh, just <laughs> my amazing driving here. Um, yeah, feels a bit weird. I like how the cars are all electric. That's a cool little um, like futuristic thing. So yeah, it, it plays okay. I mean, there is a lot of glitchiness and a lot of bugs. Um, there were some points where when I crouched down, I was underneath the map, then I stood back up and I was back on the map. It was uh, very weird, uh, very glitchy, and it, it still feels a little clunky. Like, the gameplay doesn't feel as smooth as what it probably should. I mean, even, like, probably not running uh, the highest FPS doesn't help, but... Um, oh, this is the, that's the new interact menu, by the way, where you kind of, like, a quick attach thing on your weapons. Uh, I like it, it's good. You can kind of build your gun for the scenario. Um, again, this is buggy. I've spawned in a few times now and it's not even remembered the attachments I had on my weapon. I've just got a naked M5 or whatever this gun is. Um, and then in the middle of a firefight, I'm trying to put a red dot on and a heavy barrel whilst I remember. Uh, another thing I really hate is this here AI. I mean,. I know it's early access, but I'm sure there's like 120 people or whatever that have got the game in EU servers and it's able to put me in. Like, why am I facing AI? Maybe it's to test the strength of the servers early access, but um, yeah, I feel like there shouldn't be AI in this game. It's just, when you kill someone and you see that it's AI, the kill just does not feel enjoyable at all. Like, a multiplayer game is to take another person on and 
feel rewarded with the kill, but just killing AI, like, I don't think I've even died by him. They're just terrible. You shoot him and they just chuck a smoke in front of you and panic and move left to right. In fairness, the movement is probably better than some people actually play this game, but, um, yeah, I, I don't like that at all. I know later on when people take over the servers, you can phase out the AI um, and, like, not have them backfill, and I, I really hope nobody keeps them in because... Yeah, it's not enjoyable to play with the, you know, facing the AI at all. They're just, well, they're just useless. And, um, yeah, get them out. Um, as for sniping on this game, my god, is it just, uh, I don't know, terrible. I don't know if it's, again, I don't know if it's the sniper that they've put in, the base sniper, but you have to get a head headshot to one shot them. And I just feel like that's uh, just a bit like ridiculous like the other battlefield games most upper body um shots all count as a kill um unless they're weak you you're not gonna one shot them um again i don't know if it's just the sniper that i'm using um if, you know maybe the ones in the full game are a lot better which i certainly hope so um like i'm still trying to get used to the bullet time the bullet drop and stuff it's I don't know. It, it feels just a little bit weird. It doesn't feel as good as something like Battlefield 5. Like the sniping that felt so satisfying when you got like a headshot and stuff like this. And I mean, just look at <laughs> the takedown so glitchy there. Like, how, oh, just that's awful. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just it doesn't feel right at the minute. I'm hoping it's something they kind of patch because they, they just the bullet travel time is so slow. It's you're just going to get outgunned by most ARs and even when you are shooting long range with a sniper it takes that long to get there for the bullet that it's um, yeah you're just, you're just probably going to chest shot them or you know it's, it's very hard to um, seem to get a headshot with them at the minute um, so yeah hopefully they're a bit better and you, you find yourself a lot of the time you've seen this clip I, I hit someone in like the chest where you think at that range they probably should die from a sniper and I have to switch to the pistol to finish him off. And I just feel like that kind of takes it away. I mean, surely he should die there. He's pretty much been shot in his chin. But no, uh, I have to go back with the pistol and finish him off. It's just, yeah, it's just not as satisfying as other Battlefield games to snipe. And I hope they kind of improve that and make the experience a bit better to snipe on. Because, um, yeah, it, feels, it almost feels a bit like bad company sniping. Like how the snipers are very slow in that. And the... Bullet travel time was very slow. Um, it's just um, again, look at that back of the head, and I mean, look, I headshot him again, but <laughs> I just feel like they should die when you're hitting them like shoulders above. And it just doesn't seem to be doing that at the minute. As for the vehicles that are in the game, um, I've tried most of them out. Um, my sensitivity is not right on them yet, still, and I can't really bother to go into it because it's just, you know, the bit that I'm playing. Um, but, like this clip here in the Little Bird, the miniguns feel so weak. I mean, I kind of like that because in Battlefield 4, like the upgraded heavy miniguns that you could get in that, that absolutely just like railed you, was so annoying. And like a good pilot will just absolutely obliterate a full team. But, um, yeah, they feel a little underpowered on this, and I felt like the rockets was pretty much the only way to kill infantry, and pretty sure miniguns should destroy you. Um, I mean, the, like, Apache or the Havoc, which is, like, the heavy um, helicopter that you can select, them guns do rip you to pieces. Um, and I, I just feel like the little bird's just a little bit underwhelming with it, um, and this needs a bit of a kind of buff. I, I don't, again, I don't know if... Probably in the full game, there might be some kind of unlocks you get, you know, get a load of kills and might be able to unlock the heavier miniguns. Um, and, and as for, like, you can't really do anything in the menu on this, on the on the beta. So, where, you know, like, the attachments for the guns that you can quick select, I'm hoping you can kind of interchange them so that in a game you can maybe have, like, a three times and then a red dot and then, you know, heavy bavel and then a silencer. Because at the minute you can only select certain ones, so I'm, I'm hoping the more kills you get with a weapon, the more unlocks you get, and then you can kind of quick select them uh, in the start menu, so you can just select them in game. Um, and I also hope that you can kind of spec your gun in the menu 
before you enter a game so then you don't have to keep quick selecting all the attachments on every time that you want it because um, that could be a bit annoying so hopefully they do something with that uh, <laughs> exiting vehicles by the way have you just seen there is just mental it's it's just crazy I, I was in the passenger of a chopper on the gunner and when I jumped out to land on the building I was almost stuck to the chopper and it just it just dragged me the entire way <laughs> with the chopper and I couldn't get out um, I was just like free float falling for ages um, yeah it was just a bit mental I feel like it should despawn you like underneath the helicopter or vehicle or something because it's um, yeah it's just a bit mad and then look there I just had like some kind of weird aiming glitch whenever I aimed in it was on like some kind of weird angle and I don't know if that's to do with the fact that I just put that sight on in the middle of the firefight because it sorted itself out later on so it's just a bit um, yeah so clunky and laying down there you can't like lay still it just keeps like shaking your body up and down uh, which is just a nightmare if you're trying to shoot someone it's um, yeah these are all like kind of bugs that I hope they just kind of fix on the full release because the minute they are um, it's quite a lot as for the map itself it felt okay the map to play on um, there's a lot of dead space like in between the big building there on my left and the main rocket at the back there's literally just a section that is just open land and there's barely any any cover uh, and unless you come down this particular side that I'm fighting on now um, you're just gonna get destroyed um, so hopefully you know the other maps are designed a little bit better because um, uh, again I tried using the SMGs as well that it gives you like, the vector and the um, maybe the UMP I think and yeah it was um, it was rough I only got a few kills because the range is just uh, if you've not got an AR like this AK oh, sliding on the map there as well love that love it um, yeah if you've not got an AR or I tried the marksman rifle that's okay again it just felt a bit like you were shooting um, blanks at people like, a lot of hit markers no kills kind of thing um, yeah I feel like you've, you've got to get headshots in this game but um, yeah hopefully some of the maps are a bit more close quarters um, I know they're doing remakes of some old favourites so uh, be interested to see what Operation Metro is like and stuff like that how it plays with this one um, but I'd, I'd definitely like to see them change the uh, TTK on this game it's just a bit too high for me I think at the minute so should you buy it? I'd highly recommend downloading the um, beta when it's on open, when anyone can join um, and trying it out. I know like I say it's a bit glitchy and it's probably nowhere near like what the full game will be but um, if you're someone like me that's not played Battlefield in some time and has been playing you know, Call of Duty or Apex or something like that, it took a while to get back into. I mean I think it'll be a game once it's fully released and everything's right patched but um, you know will it get boring after a couple of weeks you know all the big games at the minute are dominated by battle royales and this hasn't got one we don't know what the hazard zone thing is yet that they've released um, will be like but uh, yeah I think it'll be a nice change of pace from most of the games out there um, but yeah definitely download the um, the bit and give it a try when it comes out because uh, yeah, not everyone's going to like it. Uh, this, by the way, is the uh, Magnum, that side hand that I was using. And it's a one shot to the head, but it's got a ridiculously slow firing rate and a lot of recoil, but uh, it's quite fun to use. I don't think it's as good as the other pistol, the semi-automatic, because um, if you don't hit your shot, then you absolutely add it. But, <laughs> I mean, the, that, that car could tear down trees. It's ridiculous. Uh, uh, this little noob here, bless him, he thinks he's safe in the bush, that he can hide. But uh, I, I tried to melee attack him, tried to assassinate him and he doesn't let me. And uh, start panic knifing. He's panicking, punching as well. But uh, <laughs> I finally get him. But yeah, I do love Battlefield and I love the Battlefield moments that you don't experience in any other game. But um, yeah, I hope you've... Uh, 
Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've found it informative. And uh, yeah, let me know if you uh, if you plan on picking it up or if you try out the beta when it's out in the open like period. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.